Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company I'll be working with today is Tanache Hair. Inside your package, you'll get 3D mink eyelashes and stocking new wig caps. You'll also receive your wig in a separate plastic bag. They sent me over a 613 straight, 24 inch, 13 by 6 lace front wig, and it is 180% density. Now this wig comes with transparent lace, four combs in the inside, and an adjustable strap. And the six inch part of space is primarily in the middle and then on the very sides you get about one inch, one and a half inch maybe. I really hate the lace on the sides. It's really not enough to do a deep, deep side part, but you can still achieve a side part. But that is one con about the way that I don't like. But the hair was very soft out of the packaging and it gave me no shedding. So I was excited to get this look done. So in two separate bowls, I'll be using Adore um, J and then Adore Sweet Mint, two bottles of each in a separate bowl. And I'll put conditioner in each bowl as well. Now what I would recommend for you is to not put conditioner with your color because it makes the consistency more, it don't make it runny, but it make it to where when you're trying to apply it on the hair, it's not really catching to the hair. You have to use more product. So I ended up having to use way more product than I really had to. So conditioner is really not a necessity. I really don't even know why I use conditioner because even if you don't use conditioner, it still was gonna come out that same vibrant color. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. Save yourself some product and time and don't use conditioner because you're gonna have to apply more What I'm doing right now is separating the frontal from the tracks in the back because today we're actually going to paint this color on. I know you guys probably thought, oh, he's finna do the watercolor method. Nope. I decided I'm going to paint this color on because I want the scalp part to be more scalpy. When you watercolor hair, not only do you color the hair, but you also color the knots. I didn't want blue knots. I kind of wanted to keep my knots blonde. That way, once I put the makeup on, it gives a more scalp illusion. So I was like... Let me paint my color on today. And plus, you know, you do get um, a longer lasting color and you do get better results when you paint your color on. That's a fact, you know. The watercolor method really was made just to, you know, color hair, you know, real quick. But over time, your color fades more quicker with the watercolor method. So if you're looking for your color to last a while, I prefer you paint it on. And what you see me using right now is the comb so I don't get any color on the lace. But y'all should know this technique from me showing y'all how I do my dark roots on 613 hair. You just use the comb, dip it in the color, and you literally just comb the hair. Don't even think about it too hard. You literally just comb the hair.
Now look at that, you see how I don't have any color on the lace? This is why the comb part on the frontal is so necessary. Now once you get to the tracks in the back, you ain't gotta use the comb. You can use a brush, your hand, slap it on. <laughs> you can do anything, but when it comes to that lace part, you wanna be real precise because you don't want blue lace, y'all. You don't want blue lace. And this is after the entire hairline and the roots of the frontal have been um, colored. So now we're just gonna go back in with our coloring brush and we're just gonna paint that color all the way, almost to the ends, but not all the way to the ends. You probably can't see me doing it, but I'm not going all the way to the bottom because we're gonna put the sweet mint color on the bottom, but I'm taking it pretty much all the way down. But leaving about, I would say, what, about three? Four, five, six. I don't know how many inches. Just look, y'all. I'm just dragging it to the bottom, leaving a little bit of the ends blunt, and then I'm gonna go back in in the end. So we're just gonna worry about the jade color right now. Just paint it all over the hair and just leave some of the ends blunt so we can put the other color on in the end. Oh, that color is looking pretty. Y'all do know this is my favorite color, right? Yeah, remember that. You may need to remember that in the future. Check out that scalp action. Did you see that middle part with this color? Like, honey, see this why I paint your color on. It just hit different. But y'all already know how I feel about when it comes to the bag. I'm finna slap that color on. And y'all, I low key ran out of color in the bag, but I, I made it work. That's what I'm saying. If don't don't worry about the conditioner, cause see with the conditioner you have to you have to put so much more product on and. We just don't be having time for all this. So, honey, don't don't even mix your color with no conditioner. Just put it straight on. Now, after I um finish slapping this color on, you'll see on the ends that I'm going to start to put the sweet mint color. You probably won't even realize that I'm switching to the sweet mint because on camera, they kind of look the same color. But after I slap this jade over, you know, the top in the middle of the hair, that's when I'm going to slap the sweet mint on the ends. So now, yeah, I'm slapping the sweet mint on the ends right now. Yeah, because I just showed the um the color bowl change. And if you see like a little darker blue in the back on the left side, I had to, don't tell nobody, I had to throw a little baby blue up there, you know, cause I had to ran out of the jade. But you know, that's just gonna be our little secret. So now I'm just trying to make sure that color is saturated. I'm gonna even get my brush and brush it through. And I let that process, I put it in a plastic bag and put it in the dryer on about medium to high heat. I think I let the process for like 40 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I'm not even sure. But I did process it with some heat so it can, you know, go ahead and hurry up. Cause I don't be having all day. But normally what I used to do, I would just leave my color in the hair overnight. But um, child, we ain't got all that time no more. Now when I did rinse my color out, I did still have some blonde pieces. Cause like I said, honey, that conditioner, it just be, um, 
it be diluting the strength of the color. So I had to go back in and watercolor the hair just to reinforce those colors. I dipped the ends in sweet mint, but I also dipped the top in baby blue instead of jade because I didn't have no more jade, but I made sure I didn't get the color on the knots. So yeah, I did a whole bunch of stuff to get this color, but honey, just, just stay in the jade baby blue sweet mint family and it's gonna look cohesive. So now I'm using my Ruby Kisses level 11. I don't know if I use the lightest or the darkest shade because honey, I was talking so much, I forgot to look. But you know, just use whatever is closer to your skin tone. I'm putting that all over the wig and then we're gonna start positioning this wig on her head and cutting out her ear tabs. And I did not sew this wig down. I used the adjustable straps and the comb in the back and that wig was secured. So now we're about to get ready to start to glue this hair. Y'all already know what glue I'm using. Just guess, I'm gonna give y'all five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Y'all should already know, boho active. Get with it, honey. Four layers, y'all already know how this go. You dot it along the um, cap, making sure that some of the glue is on the skin and you want to smooth that back as flat and as thin as possible and you let each layer turn clear before you add another layer and then you know you in the game honey Our fourth layer is dry, so now it's time to lay that lace down. And we're gonna use our comb and our blow dryer just to make sure that lace is secure.
And now I'm going to tie it down with the infamous elastic band. And I'm going to get a have a clip. A have a clip. Uh, what? You going to get a have Oh, that's honey. Mm-mm-mm-mm. We're going to give the hair a quick blow dry just to smooth those cuticles out. <laughs> But nah, for real, do y'all see this color though? Like, oh my gosh, y'all, this is my favorite color. I was just so in love. Like, I just, I was just so in love. Like, this just looks so good. And it looks so good in, even in natural sunlight. Like, y'all, y'all should see this in person. Like, it was so vibrant. I was just so happy with the outcome of this color, y'all. So now I took that elastic band off and now I'm cutting off the excess lace using my eyebrow razor. And once we get done, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our part into position. And today we're gonna do a side part on the right side. And I'm using my glam wax stick from Beautiful Hustler here on YouTube with my Kendra's Boutique Hot Comb. Um, the Kendra's Boutique Hot Comb is still sold out, y'all. I don't, mm -mm, yeah, don't even ask me about this hot comb because I don't think you'll ever be able to get it. 
Because every time I try to check the website for y'all, it say sold out. And it's been saying that since um, last year. I don't think it's going to be no help. <laughs> But you can get the wax stick from ibhslays.com. It um it should be in stock though. Um, beautiful hustler, she keeps that in stock. So now we're just gonna uh, separate these hairs on the side because we're just gonna do a little bit of baby hair action. Nothing too crazy because um this is blue hair and um we're not trying to look like a clown out here with um finger waves <laughs> in the front with blue hair. That just uh, 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 uh. We ain't trying to do all that. Just a little something, 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 you know, give a little flavor, a little pizzazz, but you know, not too much, cause um, we ain't trying to look like no client out here with no full hairline of blue baby hairs. That ain't cute. And before I melt my lace in with my hairspray and my elastomane, I am taking some more makeup just to make sure that lace is, you know, blending even before I get it to blend some more. And now I'm taking my hot comb, my wax stick, and I'm just laying that hair down, making sure, you know, that hair is flat and laid.
And now I'm cutting my baby hairs down to about one and a half inch and I'm gonna swoop them into pegs using my mousse and the little edge toothbrush, well not toothbrush, but the edge brush comb thingy that you can get from the hair store. And then we're just gonna tie it down with like three wrap strips just to make sure they are secure and that lace is not moving at all. So today we're going to be doing some crimps, so I'm going to spray the entire hair with Sebastian Shaper Plus Spray. And then I'm going to leave the name of the crimper iron that I used because I forgot because I have so many. I'm going to leave the name of that on the screen. And now I'm just crimping my little life away. Y'all, um, I got my crimping iron on 420 
20 or 30 degrees. You don't want to put it all the way on 450 because this is colored hair and this crimp iron gets hot so it can like burn the color off. So make sure when you're using your hot tools, like your hot comb, your flat iron, crimp iron, curl iron, whatever kind of iron you got, when you have color hair, especially like bright color hair, cut the um, temperature down some because you can really like fade your color out quickly and you can even like uh, fry your hair. So yeah, cut the temperature down just a little bit. It'll still give you the same results. You just gotta be careful because with color hair, you have to take more care of it. And look at these juicy crimps. Now that we are done, honey, I was so happy to be done crimping this hair. But it didn't take long because it wasn't that long. So now we're going to cut those wrap strips off and I'm going to show you the edges um, straight after being dried. But of course, you know, I went back in and, you know, combed them out, plucked some of them, you know, customized it to my liking. But I don't want this video to be super, super long, even though it's already super, super long. So, you know, y'all know the vibes. So now I'm taking my Beyond the Hair Zone, turn up the heat spray, spray it on the hair. I'm gonna use my wide tooth comb. We're gonna comb these crimps out. We is not trying to be looking like a fresh, crisp baconator. Mm -mm. Gotta comb them crimps out. Gotta comb them out, baby. And they just look so good when they comb out. They just look like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, y'all, this is the finishing look. Like, y'all, I am loving this so much. Like, ooh. And this color on her skin tone, honey, it is popping with that jacket. Ooh, yes. Yes, honey. Do you see that? Do you see that? That jade baby blue to that mint, it is hitting. Okay. For more details and information on how you can purchase this wig, make sure you check the description box. It is so much valuable information in there. I also have some frequently asked questions about myself, about like where I'm located at, what do I film with, all that good jazz, you know. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and turn your notification bell. I got so many new heavy hitters coming this summer, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Love y'all. Goodbye.